All right, let me resume. Here we go. Here we go. Yuito, Gemma, hold on. Major General Fubuki, I'm glad you're both okay. I ran into Nagi and Sugumi, and I came after you as soon as I heard. Heard what? About Naomi. I'll tell you what I told them. You're not to repeat what happened to anyone. What do you mean? I mean just that. Don't tell anyone about it. It will serve to protect all of you. Also, did you happen to pick up anything like an ampule on your way here? Oh, yes. Would you mind handing that over to me? <clears throat> What is that ampule? Or is that classified too? To put it simply, this ampule is a power enhancer. It boosts the psionic hormones. We know that it's developed in Ceyron. However, this is classified OSF information. I can't tell you any more than that. So many secrets. Yes, unfortunately, whenever people gather together, there are always ulterior motives. It's best to stay away from these sticky spider webs. That's why I'm warning you. Anyway, you two come with me. We'll find somewhere safe. No, Kasane is up ahead. She went after Naomi. Would it be okay if I continued looking for her? I'm worried. Fine. If you see her, make sure to tell her not to share what happened to anyone either. Don't do anything reckless. I'll send some reinforcements soon. And since there's a chance we'll have to withdraw from the front lines, you should fall back to your hideout if you meet up with them. It'll be a lot safer to head back to Suo from there. In any case, be careful. Right, let's save it quickly. Hold on, let me check what's in this shop. Let me see if there's anything of value. It's not for anyone here. Jelly. Okay. Those guys 
these were national defense forces. Where did they take Naomi? Why did she just change into another? There's a lot we don't understand, but it's a fact that Naomi is another now. I see some resources down there. Major General Karin? Yuito and Gemma, you two take care of her. I'm returning to the front line to regroup the units. Yes, sir. Kasane, uh, where's Naomi? I suppose I can tell you, since you saw the whole thing. She was taken by troops stationed in Ceyron. So that car was from the Ceyron garrison? Yes, so? Something's not right. When I reported this to Major General Fubuki, he told me not to tell anyone else and to tell you to do the same. Major General Karin said the same thing. Why tell us to keep quiet? Does that mean OSF is hiding something? I don't know. Major General Fubuki said it would protect us. And take a look at this. It seems like the Seiron garrison dropped this too. I remember seeing this at home when I was a child. According to the Major General, it's a drug that temporarily boosts powers. He wanted me to turn them over, but I managed to keep two of them without him knowing. That was a smart decision. In any case, why would something like that be at my home? The Randall family is involved in weapon development. Anything related to drug manufacturing would have only been joint ventures with Spring Pharmaceuticals. He also mentioned that this drug was classified information. It seems like the top brass of the OSF know about it. Spring Pharmaceuticals is Major General Fubuki's family company. Perhaps the commander knew because of that. Don't trust new Himuka. What? What is that supposed to mean? It's something Karin said. I'm not exactly sure what he meant by it either. If this ampule really is from Ceyron, then does that mean the Randalls and Springs are cooperating with Ceyron? Even if that's the case, it just leaves us with more questions. It might be best to do as we were told. We keep this to ourselves and look into it privately. That ampule seems to be pretty important. Might be a good idea to hide it. Then I'll hide the ampule inside Baki. Huh? I didn't think you'd know how to sew. I was always told to be independent, ever since I was little. Done. There's two, so who's going to hold on to them? I'll pass. I think you two should probably carry them. Baki, my sister would have been so happy. Kasane, about Naomi. I'm sorry. I knew that other was Naomi, but I was scared. I... I had no other choice but to fight. Hmm. Stop it. I'll get Naomi back. Just don't get in my way. This might come off as naive, but I want to do what I can to help save her, too. It is naive, but thank you. Oh, nice one, Sagumi. Looks like everyone's here. Huh, where's Naomi? Isn't she with you? <sighs> What's wrong? 
I'll tell you later. Uh, where's Nagi? And Captain Seto and Hanabi? Nagi is with the rescue team on the front line. Captain and Hanabi are totally fine. They're worried about you, so we should get out of here. No, the rest of you go first. She didn't supposed to be up ahead, so I'll pick him up. Then I'll go with you. For better or worse, I'm the leader of Kyoko Platoon until this mission is over. All right. Be careful. So I guess it's best we join up with Captain Seto and head over to the hideout. So, this is your family's unit. It's a good fit geographically, and is well equipped. I hope we can use it as a hideout. You don't mind? Of course not. It doesn't look like it's being used by my family anymore. Then we'll use this as our platoon's hideout. I'm just glad you're okay. We were all really worried. Sagumi was crying her eyes out. I was not. What? Sugumi, you've got the hearts for Yuito? What about me? Shut up. Harsh. Where's Naomi? Did she and Gemma regroup with Kyoka Platoon? Oh, uh... Naomi is... Uh, it's not like Naomi is dead. But I can't just say she turned into another. An other... Got her. <laughs> No way. Naomi? But she's the best next to Kasane, and she's so nice. That's why you look so down. That must have been hard, losing a friend like that. Everyone goes through that at least once. I won't tell you to cheer up, but this is something you're going to have to learn to accept. To survive in the USF, it's necessary. I understand. Let's rest here a while. You have my permission. Take some time to get yourself together. It's a sad situation, but the others won't wait. You can give gifts to allies at hideout. You can mainly get gifts from the shops. Exchange bonds will strengthen more. Okay. I find it hard to believe you need to talk to me about something. First, I want you to look at this. The menu? Okay. New menu festival. Finish our large portions within the time limit and your meal is free. Also receive a bonus case of soda. Wait, you're not asking me to do this, are you? I sure am. You eat and I get the soda prize. Don't worry, if you can't finish it all, I'll pay for the meal. This is what you wanted to talk about? I don't know if I'm up for it. It's to advertise the new menu, so the food is about three times more than usual. A kid your age should have a pretty big appetite. You can totally do it. Look, it says you need a reservation. I don't think... Don't worry, I already made one. You planned everything already. I guess I'd feel bad canceling on them now. Okay, I'll try. I'm so full. Good job. That was a lot of food. You didn't let me down. Still, I may have pushed you too hard. Next time, I'll get you whatever food you like to make it up to you. No. No more food. I know. Can you come adjust SAS with me now? You want me to adjust your SAS? I heard you're really good at that stuff. Hmm. 
I mean, I won't force you or anything. Something was just feeling off about it. Okay, fine. I guess I owe you for helping me get what I want. You mean the soda? You must really love soda. So much that I can't refuse your request. Let's get this over with already. Sorry for asking you to do this. It's fine. You're a lot more impatient than I thought, though. I don't see why we couldn't do the SAS adjustments later. This was a good opportunity to get you to look at it. And I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. I don't want to run into issues with the SAS during battle. I don't like causing problems for everyone. Shouldn't you be more concerned with your own survival? It almost sounds like you don't prioritize your own life. I guess you could say that. You weren't even aware of it? Great. Another one destined for an early death. You should be letting loose a little more. Learn how to slack off a little. Slack off? No, I couldn't. It's important to know when you can ease up. Taking proper breaks will increase your overall productivity. In other words, skipping out on work is the rational recommendation. What happens if the others attack when you're easing up? And someone gets hurt? Oh, you're so serious. Is it any fun to live like that? I can't help it. That's just the way I am. I know someone just like you. I feel so sorry for you both. Who else is like me? Okay, we're done. The Arashi Support Center is closed for the day. Please contact us again during our regular business hours. Huh? That was quick. Thanks. Now we're even for today. That means I can enjoy my soda guilt-free. Also, don't work too hard. See ya. She's... different. Let's see what this is. Why is she not saying anything? Okay, yes. Um, Pond episode. Sugumi, can we talk? Huh? Talk? Sure. Oh, are you busy? It's okay if you are. It's fine. I just wasn't ready. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm sorry for showing up so suddenly. But... I'm sorry. 
don't apologize, really. I'm not good at chatting. I just can't think of what to say, and I get all quiet. I feel like people get uncomfortable when they talk to me, so I always apologize. I don't feel uncomfortable at all, so don't worry about it. Talk as slowly as you need to. Thanks. So, did you want something? Oh, it's not that important, but I saw you watering the flowers at OSF headquarters before. I wanted to ask you if you like flowers and plants. Yeah. Gardening is my hobby. I've grown lots of plants since I was little. Wow. Gardening sounds fun. There were a lot of plants in my garden at home, too. Your garden is probably big. Yeah, I bet taking care of it was hard. We've kind of let it go lately. That's too bad. It is. There were all kinds of flowers before. I used to enjoy spending time looking at them. Oh, Yuito, you like plants? Huh? Well, I suppose you could say I do. I've never actually grown them myself, though. What kind do you like? Flowers or decorative shrubs? Big trees are cool, too. Hmm. Well, if I had to choose... Oh, right. There were these beautiful white flowers in our garden. I liked those. They seem kind somehow. They only bloom for a short time, though. Do you know the flower's name? No, I don't. The old gardener who planted them quit a long time ago. Hmm. Sugumi? Why are you so quiet? I think I can find that flower. What? You can do that? Mm-hmm. I'm good at investigating plants. It will be faster if I have more information. Information? Oh, you mean like the flower's characteristics? Um... I think it bloomed in the winter. Mm-hmm. What else? Tell me exactly what it looks like. The petals are small and kind of pointed, and the tips of them are tinged pink. The leaves were oval, long, and thin, and kind of came up around the bottom. It was about this big. Does that make sense? I get the idea. Now, do you remember the number of petals? That's a small detail, so you might not. Y yeah. I'm not so sure, but I think it was about six? No, wait, maybe seven. Yeah, it was seven, I think. You have a good memory. That's plenty of information. I'll look into it. I'll let you know when I know the name. Thanks. I'd be so happy if I could see that flower again. Hey, Sugumi? No, this is... Lanceolate. Smaller and cyclic. It doesn't look like she can hear me. I guess she really does like plants. <sighs> She's really focused. I'll leave her alone. Another brain message. I'll find your favorite flower, so don't worry. It might be some kind of a lead in my observation journal. Just you wait. Okay, sure, no one has ever actually asked me that before. Okay, next time. Um, I think that might be... Yeah, she's the only one that had like a actual thing to do. Um, let me just let me just set up the next phase. Maybe I should rest a bit. Where's Captain Seto? He went back to Suo a little while ago. He said he's going back to work, but we can do whatever we want until we're needed. 
Sorry, but that's the end of free time. Central Platoon is being called. My, my. The boss says it's time to work. Yuito, Hanabi, you ready? Yeah. I'm okay, too. I guess I have to be. Yeah, as long as you're OSF, you'll lose people like this. You have to get over it. You're right. When were you discharged? I would have come to get you. Huh? Oh, they suddenly said I could leave this morning. Oh, man. So you were called in as soon as you were discharged? That's bad luck. You were in the hospital since the mission in the abandoned subway. Are you all healed? You know it. I was getting rusty, so I was glad for the deployment. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. What's this? So you're back, Nagi. Hey, don't push yourself too hard. I won't. <sighs> All right, then. These orders are from Major General Karin. Others are reported along the Kunad Highway. We'll move in three-man teams again. Team one is Nagi, Sugumi, and myself. Team two is Kagero, Yuito, and Hanabi. Lately, a lot of National Defense Forces are deployed along the Kunad Highway. It's an army, but they're still normal people. We can't let them get involved in a fight with others. If you happen to see them, tell them to keep their distance from the area. Let's head out to Kunad Highway. Nagi, are you okay? Hmm? If you mean my wounds, I'm fine. <laughs> Not that. I mean about Naomi. Oh, I mean, I was shocked that Naomi died in battle. But I can't let that affect me forever. What? Died in battle? Naomi's alive. Huh? That's not funny. Huh? Oh, um... I guess it is kind of weird to refer to her as alive when she exists as another. But she's definitely alive, and we might be able to change her back. She's another. Are you feeling okay? Huh? We're deploying, so stop the crazy talk. We have to fight others for New Himuka. We have to accept that Naomi is dead and move on. Come on, let's go. What's wrong with Nagi? There's gonna be no action in this one. Hey, you should use my power sometimes. Yeah, there's gonna be no action in this one. I don't want it to be too long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll resume in the next one as usual. Peace.